DMAF has a variety of different types of 3D printers available. Details on printing cost, materials and printer bed size can be found for each type of 3D printer on our website. Our extrusion 3D printers are what most students use day to day. This type of 3D printer is really popular here at DMAF because it can produce intricate, strong and cheap parts. This type of 3D printer works by extruding plastic from a reel on the back of the machine. The plastic is pulled off the reel on the back of the machine and fed into what's called the hot end. This hot end melts the plastic at about 200 degrees Celsius and draws an object of your model. Layer by layer, your object is made. Being inducted into 3D Printer OS will give you 24-hour access to control and watch your 3D prints online. We offer high, medium and draft printing qualities. Once your model is printed, a technician will remove it from the bed. Pointy nose pliers can be useful for removing the brim and support material of your model. Another type of popular 3D printer we have are the SLA machines. These machines can produce very highly detailed models by curing layers of resin together with a laser light. The excess resin is washed off in a bath of alcohol and the parts are cured further to make them stronger. Supports for this type of printing process are tree-like and can be removed with a pair of side cutters. We also have a 3D printer that can build your model by binding white powder together layer by layer. Here you can see the process. First a roller deposits a thin layer of loose powder onto the bed. We then see the bubble jet print head moving to deposit binding fluid that will glue that loose powder together to make up your model. The process repeats many times and we end up with a bed full of powder and glue. A vacuum and compressed air are used to suck away and remove the loose powder surrounding your model. The big advantage of this process is that there are no supports that need to be cut away from the model. However, the objects are very fragile. Long, thin sections are almost impossible to remove without breaking. Our multi-jet 3D printer uses multiple print heads to deposit both the model material and wax support material. This wax support material is melted off in the post-processing stage. This printer is excellent at producing small details accurately. Our Potterbot and Delta Wasp are able to extrude soft clay when 3D printing. The deposited clay needs to be dried and then fired before it becomes a hard ceramic object. It's a good idea to have a close look at the 3D prints that come off each type of machine. This will give you a better understanding of what each machine is capable of.